guys, Luke here from Mix It Up 1108. So this is going to be a different kind of video. It's going to be an unboxing like for my mouse, but it's going to be a little bit higher quality because I'm not going to be stuck in my room. And today we are unboxing the Razer Siren X. This is my new microphone. I'm not recording with it currently, so this will probably be the last video without it, for except for my Hello Neighbor video and a few other old videos that I need to get out there. Um, but yeah, this is the box. This is the Siren X, and as you can see, it has like the holographic text. It looks kind of cool. It's got razor on both sides, and then on the back, it's got like information about it and it on a stand. And here, it also has it on a stand. Now, I've already unboxed it because I was super excited and impatient. So we're gonna do this, and there's the mic. Uh, we're gonna get this a little bit closer. So I got the standard black one. I didn't get the white one. It quartz pink. Uh, you can take it out of the foam, which I think is super nice that they packed it this way, not just for the protection, but you can also take out the foam, which I'll show you in a moment. And that's a really safe way to carry your microphone. So here's the mic. As you can see, it's actually really tiny. Uh, I can't give you a size comparison really, but here it is against my head, if that means anything to anyone. But yeah, it's very, very tiny, and it's a nice mic. It it does, it weighs a bit. Um, I'm not, like, a mic specialist, but on the front, it's got volume, which you might think, oh, that means that, oh, when you turn that up, my voice is louder. But no, what that means is, if you have headphones plugged in, which I'll show you in a moment, uh, the audio that you get from it, uh, the playback, is louder. Then this button here is the mute button which lights up when in use, and I'll show that to you when I plug it in. And on the bottom here we have a headphone jack and a USB-C uh, port. I think that's what that is. Or you, it's some sort of USB port. Uh, so that's all for the actual microphone. We'll put that off to the side. So, going back to the box, here's the foam. Again, like I said, you take it out. It's got a hole for the mute button. And inside there's some razor stickers a letter thanking you for buying the purchase and with instructions and the actual instruction booklet and like warranty stuff so then under that there's all of the all of this stuff uh bad lighting i apologize but uh it's got the stand stand adapter and the cord is in here too so we'll pull out the stand there's a little foam ring around it to protect the actual stand it's just a foam ring. I don't know what you're expecting. And here's the actual stand. It's got a nice foam bottom. And it's got... It's very weighty. Um, probably weighs around the same, if not more, than the mic. And the foam on the bottom is so that if you hit the table super hard, uh, nothing happens to the mic. It may wiggle a little bit, but no, nothing will happen to the audio coming from it. Then the adapter. Um... I don't know exactly what the millimeters and stuff are, but you need this to be able to put it on the stand, and it comes with the mic, obviously. And the cord, which is the standard razor braided, nice looking cord with the little caps on top. So that's it for the box. This is the inside without anything in it. And now we're going to assemble the microphone. So you need the actual microphone and the adapter first. You're going to screw the adapter into the bottom of the mic, if you actually get it even. You're going to screw it in like that. And now your mic's attached. This is good attachment for a boom arm, but you can also attach it without that, without this, if you have a certain size boom arm. I don't know. Then you take the stand, and you screw them on like this. And once it's tightly screwed on, you want it tight so that it doesn't like fall off. Uh, I think that's as tight as it's going to get. It's not shaking. There you go. That's your mic. So it can be adjusted. The angles and everything. Not that much. It's not like a huge amount of adjustment. But it is enough for like if you need to lean it back. Enough for things like that. And you can't even see it here. Uh, I'll lower the screen. Here it is. So now we're going to connect the wire and plug it in. So comes like this, with this little rubber thing around it to keep it all tied up. 
there's these little caps on top of the USBs. Remove that, and on the inside is the standard like green that Razer does. So you can undo the cord, you can keep though that thing to tie it up, whatever you want. And I'm going to now plug this in. This is the first time that I've done this. Uh, the rest I've done before. So I'm going to plug that in there. And which side should I plug it in on? This side has an extra one. I'll plug it in here. So I'm going to have to set it up and everything. As you can see, mute button has gone on and it's green. Very nice looking. It's actually super cool. So I'm going to change a few settings and I need to change what my microphone is. Raise, uh, nope, that's not it. I want to use my Razer Siren X microphone. Okay, so this is the microphone now. Uh, hello. This is, that's the, that's the microphone. And if I hit the mute button, it went red, as you guys saw, and you couldn't hear me. I started to talk, and I realized that you couldn't hear me, but when I hit the mute button, it will go red, so, So I was speaking, I was just saying that this is so cool, things like that. Um, microphone seems to be working well. We're going to see what the quality is, obviously, in my editing process, but I am a big fan of this at this point. It's super tiny, which is nice. It's easy to travel with, I'm assuming, because of that. It's super easy to put on your desk. I mean, again, it's right here in front of me. Don't need to, like, make huge adjustments to my desk situation. Uh, the only thing is I just need to move the cord and stuff out of my way a little bit. Uh, and razor stickers. So, I mean, what more could you ask for? Uh, final thing I need to test, uh, before we go is... So, you can still get a little bit of, uh, keyboard audio and mouse audio, which is a little bit annoying that that wasn't completely removed, but it should be a lot quieter. Yeah, it's a lot quieter than it was before, which I think is super good. Um, this is exactly what I needed. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little review and unboxing. I hope the mic quality doesn't go down too much. In fact, in case it did, I'm going to switch back to the normal. That's not what I wanted. I want to switch back to my other mic. Okay, back to the old mic. I can't wait to hear the difference. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, please consider liking and subscribing, and there will be new videos out soon. Bye!